now that my car is finally getting warmer, it's time for me to go the fuck inside. So, I told myself that I would stop swearing, right? <laughs> I work at a restaurant, and I don't want to just use that as an excuse, but I would say it's a reason to not stop swearing. Um, I just hear so many swear words, whether it's that or it's doing stand-up. Maybe I should go to the clean mics. There is actually one clean mic, and I think it would be good for me to go to that mic. <laughs> Man, I have really lived in the South for too long. <laughs> it's, it's definitely rubbing off on me. But, um, yeah, so, I think it's on, uh, Thursdays? So, the same night as Twin Kegs, which is interesting because <laughs> Twin Kegs, which is hosted by Kelsey, who, uh, in case you don't know, he's a black man with dreadlocks and he always says we gonna keep this motherfucker going so just to let you know th that's like the interlude between comics all right so you get to hear the word motherfucker like at least 30 times in one evening and that's the interlude between comics so most comics are pretty dirty you know, that used to be a separate sect, like another genre of comedy was dirty comedy, you know? Like George Carlin was thought of as a dirty comic, but he said so much, so it was like, okay, he swears. But it's like, if you talk about a woman's pussy, you know, if just saying the word pussy, that, that's, that's pretty derogatory in a lot of different ways. But yeah, I've always talked about people like that. Um, not just people that I don't like or people that I have some sort of bias towards. So, um, because of that, I feel like it was sort of in the cards that I was going to do stand up. And when I turned 30 years old, I just, you know, accepted the, the whole like dying alone thing and, you know, as a woman, it's like, yeah, if you're not married with kids by that time, or, like, at the very least married, at the very least, like, in a committed relationship, it's like, yeah, you're probably not gonna have the normal people shit. And that's okay. Um, like, I made that decision a long time ago, but I kind of retracted it a little bit because I was trying to see if, like, maybe I could make something work out with a real person. But, uh, <laughs> that's so funny saying that, but it's true. Um, and I was thinking about how, like, you know, we all have that fan fantasy part of our minds. I think that schizos are just more aware of it. Just like we're more aware of a lot of aspects of human existence that the rest of society just seems to discard or disregard because they don't want to think about it. They don't want to get depressed. They don't want to get sad. They don't want to, like, be filled with gloom and doom. And <laughs> it's okay. Like, it's funny. It's fucking funny, dude. Life is funny. And it, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be anything. It's okay to be any negative emotion, you know. Just don't do destructive things to yourself or to others. But, you know, they've convinced a lot of people that it's okay to be destructive or certain things aren't destructive at all. Like, you know, hacking your tits off. That's not destructive, no. Um, taking pills that, that make your ball sack go bye-bye, that's not destructive. You know, making your emotions go bye-bye, making your uh, awareness go bye-bye, that's not, that's not anything at all, you know? It's, it's whatever, man. Well, I, I, I don't really like my emotions, but I would rather have them than not have them. And being a woman, that's kind of important, you know, since that's where a lot of our existence comes from, the, the reason why we're so crazy is because we don't understand our emotions. But it's like, we're supposed to fucking have them, bitch. It would be best if you figure that shit out, girlfriend. But, uh, so, I'm really hoping that I can do what I most
most want to do and pull into another parking spot. But I'm pretty sure that this bitch in front of me is doing some kind of Snapchat because she's like, you know, doing that with her phone and talking. Um, so we might be here for a while. <laughs> I know I need to get inside though because I came here to buy groceries. about an hour and a half till this bitch closes. But sometimes it's better for me to have less time to shop because if that's the case I won't buy as much crap. But like, I mean I really don't need that much. Just the basic shit, right? I mean I work at a restaurant so worst comes to worst I can just eat that shit food. There's always a way you can make it healthier, though. You just you just don't eat the majority of it, right? <laughs> just eat the vegetables. Sorry, I need another one. But yeah, I'm waiting for this bitch to get on out of here, but she's talking to her phone. I was gonna, I was gonna zoom in, but I know that she'll, she'll see me do it, so. No, but I think she's leaving now. I hope she's leaving. She's got her headlights on. You think if somebody had their headlights on, they'd be leaving, right? Well, don't you have your headlights on? I mean, you're not leaving. <laughs> you're just fucking sitting here, bitch. <laughs> I need to put on some kind of perfume so I don't think. See, I'm mindful of that shit. Mainly because I know a lot of people that aren't mindful of how they smell. And so, I also have a cat, as you could probably assume if you haven't already seen those videos, with Paisley. He's probably tearing up the house as we speak. But, uh, yeah, so, oh, I need to put shoes on, too. <laughs> I've been driving in my slippers, okay? I always drive in my slippers, because it's just more comfortable. Is that illegal? I think it's illegal to drive barefoot. I mean, we've done that shit, too. Especially during the summertime, I mean, why wouldn't you? Like I said, we live in Trashville. But, yeah, there's this guy that's like, I guess he's got a shoe fetish or something. But he, he really likes the fact that I have, like, two pairs of Chucks. Like, I always wear a mismatched pair of Chuck Taylors. But yeah, these are really cool. I actually got these at Goodwill. I think I got both these at Goodwill. Don't spend $60 on a pair of shoes that you can get at Goodwill for like $4.50. Fuck that shit. So, yeah, these are like furry. They're not, they just kind of have the appearance of being furry. They're not furry all the way around. They're still like the same weak ass <laughs> uh, fabric, whatever this is. Um... black and white stuff. Yeah. Probably because I have studied America all my life, so it just makes sense to be obsessed with black and white stuff. You know? But, uh, I guess I won't get to live my dream of, of pulling into a parking spot the way that I want to do it. That's okay. Because I've, I've already lived my dream before. I don't have to live it every day. It wouldn't be a dream if I lived it every day, right? <laughs>